Welcome to Vintage Coin Op Restorations and one of our latest projects. Uh, if you follow us on Facebook or YouTube, uh, you've probably seen this uh, flying saucer one time before. And uh, we're about to start this project here and uh, we had to do a little investigation. Um, the flying saucer is from the Dick Van Dyke show that aired on September 29th, 1965 on an episode called Uni Ufuts. Uh, basically, um, Dick Van Dyke sees a flying saucer in the sky, and the, the whole show goes around that. But what we were trying to find out is when we received it, this whole thing was painted silver. And we really didn't know what, uh, what the original colors are from the Dick Van Dyke show. And that's what we want to bring it back to. Somewhere, uh, it lay dormant after that episode till 1978 when um, they repainted it, and they used it for the Jack Webb show called Project UFO. And that's where it basically was just completely silver. Um, so we started doing some uh, stripping of it to see what we could find underneath the silver paint. And what we realized was we have a white band, red, and real primitive um, painting around these windows. But the whole saucer itself was made out of a clear fiberglass resin. Uh, so there must have been a ball. It almost looks like a kid's ball in basket from an old time gym that uh, they put inside here and they wrapped it with um, the fiberglass. And from there they added the other parts to it. And uh, we could also see gold coming through here. Uh, I wanna say it was a transparent because they need it to, to be clear because there's some light, uh, light bulbs inside here that will illuminate through. But another thing we noticed that some of the windows were left clear and the other ones were painted white. So I come around this whole thing. You'll see like this window was left white and it was all obviously painted over again, but on some of these, like when I came across here, this one didn't have really any white paint on it. So we'll have to decide whether or not we want to leave it clear or paint them all white or all clear. And then you can see that underneath here is a gold metallic paint. And uh, so it was gold, red, and then a white band up on top here. And obviously the top, you know, kind of had some light too. Um, but that wasn't all. On the bottom of this unit, kind of lift up here. On the bottom of the unit, we'll flip it around, you can see they had these lightning bolts. And you could you could see this in the TV show if you study the pictures or still frames like I did. And uh, we're gonna bring it back. So this is, like I said, is a gold metallic paint spray or whatever it might be. And um, I think that is the direction we're gonna go. Also, it is very, very brittle. Um, it needs a lot of reinforcement. And you can see that it was made out of fiberglass mesh. And you can see it right here, where this thing is just, every time you play with it, it'll just start to crumble some more. But it wasn't made to be perfect. These were props, so they didn't go too crazy. Uh, in fact, that's why even in the episode, you couldn't even tell what color it was because it was all black and white filming. So they used the colors that would probably pop when you um, when you uh, filmed it. So that's our project. Uh, let's take open it up. I'm gonna flip it around here. And that's what I meant by it was actually clear because you can see the clear fiberglass mesh and obviously you see how brilliant that gold paint was so it is like a very you know metallic gold almost auto paint uh probably but at the time uh in those in that time it could have been a spray can for all we know well however they did it but we're gonna do the best we can to bring it back and you can see where like i said there was like probably a ball that they they made covered it and then patched it all in and glued it so here are parts where it has completely gone through broken through where 
it's very brittle and we are going to reinforce all of that with new fiberglass mesh and the structure of it is held together with like coat hangers and they're all loose so again we're gonna we're gonna tighten all that stuff up put some new fiberglass mesh to, to hold it all together uh, redo all this crazy wiring this is, you gotta love this a plug tied in <laughs> But you know what, this was a prop and who knows how long they actually had time to you know, make the prop. They're gonna do a show about uh, flying saucer, maybe at that, in a week's notice, someone had to put a flying saucer together. And here's the base of it. And it's, it's the same, same problems that we have. You can see where this has all just come loose. This one completely comes loose. So this is what's kind of holding it together and there's a wood trim that goes around the center and you can see that there are screw holes where they had screws uh, that you know locked it all together so our goal is going to be to put it back together detail it as best as we can and um, we're going to use it for a display um, we're going to do it so that it is will not be suspended but It'll probably be on a pedestal of some sort so that it could be displayed on an angle. So you can kind of get the top view and the bottom view with that little lightning bolt all in one view as you would walk up to it. So that's where you are at with this. And stay tuned for the next episode where we start repairing the flying saucer. Thanks for watching.